Hello friends, this is Subhash and today I am going to show you how to generate a pulse width modulation signal using timer 0 and using a fast PWM mode. Basically in this chip at Mega32A, we have four different, four different PWM channels uh, through four different pins and we will be using uh, timer 0 to configure this uh, pin number 4 that is a PB3 of a microcontroller to generate in uh, PWM signal of varying duty cycle and in this example tutorial what we have done is we have connected an LED as an output to the pin number 4 of a microcontroller that is the PB3 of a microcontroller and we will be looking at the aspect of uh, changing the brightness of an LED so as the voltage ramp from 0 to 5 volt and 5 volt to 0 volt we will see a significant change in the brightness of an LED so that's what we are going to evaluate in this uh, tutorial uh, as I have mentioned already that we will be using timer 0 so we have to look at the timer 0 here uh, 8 bit timer counter 0 with PWM and look at the register description um, this is a register TCCR0 uh, timer 0 we will be using to configure our PWM or to generate our PWM signal on pin number 4 of a microcontroller that we have already hooked up in LED. So I think it's not really great idea to spend a lot of time to, uh, to discuss about theory. But there are a couple of facts they are uh, important to understand before we proceed for this tutorial. I think as as we uh, write along the code, uh, I will explain a couple of things with the code. It will be better to understand. So let's come back to the shell of a program. And um, from this tutorial, I'm not going to show you how to set up a workplace uh, and set up an environment to write the code. If you are new to this tutorial, I request you please go ahead and watch the previous video tutorials. They will help you to set up your workplace and uh, start to write a code. So in this example, I am going to start from this point. So I have to include a delay. Delay. And that's all we done. And in this, uh, we have this main routine. but to generate this PWM signal we have to um, make another routines we have to make three different routines and we will write a first routine I will create a first routine that is uh, init PWM and uh, in the curly braces we have to write the code to initialize um, pulse width modulation um, as we know that we are using timer 0 that is a TCC R0 so we have to configure timer 0 to generate PWM so let's I am going to write the code first and then I will explain because um, it's very difficult for me to um, write and explain at the same time so we have to uh, make switch on this uh, waveform generation mode uh, WGM00, WGM01 and then we have to switch on CS00 that is uh, CS stands for clock select and another we have to the next step is to um, switch on this um, COM01 so that is the um, compare match output mode and I would going to explain this in a brief um, I think a couple of minutes later and now we have to um, initialize a data direction register uh, or configure the data direction register as an output for pin number 4 of a microcontroller that is the PB3 uh, to understand this bit of code I think we have to take a reference of a datasheet again so let's go back to the datasheet 
first we have done is we have set this waveform generation mode 00, 0 and waveform generation mode uh, 0, 01 so as we look inside uh, we have set it to 1 1 to as I have already mentioned we will be using a fast PWM mode for timer 0 and that's why we have set it 1 and 1 in WGM01 and WGM00 the next part is to set the CS00 uh, zero zero bit 1 and COM01 becoming 1 so what does it stands for we have set it COM01 to become in 1 because we have to clear OC OC is the same bit I mean that's the register um, at the pin number 4 so clear OC0 on compare match so when compare is match then this bit will be clear and that's what it stands for and the next one is um, CS00 and we make the CS00 as 1 because we are not using any prescaling CS stand for clock select and we select no prescaling value I hope this should be enough to understand if you are not still clear then I request you please go through my user guide uh, that I have written by me it would be great if you read and you would get inside details and this is quite easy to understand we have uh, set it um, pin number 4 as an output and that's all it means and the next step is we have to make another uh, routine that is void and that's set set pwm output and here we need one variable to pass and we say it uh, duty and in the curly braces we have to say OCR0 uh, since we are using timer 0 uh, TCCR0 we have to use OCR0 output compare register and that should be equal to the variable duty so this duty will hold the content of OCR0 when it matches and um, then we need another routine that is uh, wait so we just simply need to add the delay delay loop 2 and since this is uh, 16 bit we should have to use 3200 uh, counts to count as a wait between a two different operation that we will be doing in this example and uh, let's uh, write in our main routine and that's that's the place where all games start so in this case uh, we should have to um, assign another variable so declare a variable called brightness brightness and in the beginning or initialize it with the value zero and then initialize false with modulation by calling this routine or calling this function in it pwm and um, then we have to go to a never ending loop and we have to take a reference of for loop and let's say the brightness is equal to zero and when the brightness is less than 255 and brightness plus plus and in our curly braces we have to set an output pwm set pwm output and we have to pass this variable brightness and then we have to wait for a while um, what basically this a block of code will do is this will count from 0 to 255 since this is an 8 bit so we ramp our voltage from 0 volt to the 5 volt 255 stands for 5 volt and 0 stands for 0 volt so this code block of code will represent a ramping of uh, duty cycle from 0 volt to 5 volt and let's write another for loop um, say the brightness equals to 255 and then say 
if brightness in this case we have to revert the condition but if brightness is greater than zero this is greater than zero then say brightness minus minus and in test curly braces we have to set a VWM output and pass the variable brightness and then wait again that's all for this tutorial so what is happening inside this main routine we should have to understand first we have initialized a variable called brightness and we set it initial value to become a zero and then uh, we have initialized a pulse width modulation and then we check for we have followed with this never ending loop and what does this never ending loop do in this for loop this will um, ramp the voltage from 0 volt to 5 volt and after that this another for loop will ramp the voltage from 5 volt to 0 volt and this way you will see the dimming or dimming of an LED or the brightness uh, changing the brightness of an LED because of changing uh, a duty cycle and that's all for this tutorial um, I think our code writing has finished and let's um, build this example and see if we got any error Okay, so in this case we have no error and our build is succeeded. So this is a time to write the hex into the microcontroller. One resistor, again 330 ohm, nothing special, and one green LED as always. So to hook up this circuit, we have to make sure that our LED and the resistor is connected to pin number 4 of the microcontroller which is uh, OC1. So to connect, let's start. Take into the consideration that should be the pin number 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So pin number 4. And take this lead into the other part of the breadboard. And then take your resistance and put into the breadboard across the connecting lead. And then take an LED and make sure that you have anode connected to the resistance and your cathode goes to the ground so this is all you need to do for implementing your pulse width modulation or to change the brightness of an LED using pulse width modulation so this is the time to load our hex file into the microcontroller and see how it works so let's go to the extreme burner so once you have opened your extreme burner make sure that your chip is 80 mega 32 go to file and hit on open flash and choose your pwm test.hex file and hit on open so once you have opened you are ready to go go to write i'm sorry i forgot we have to connect the programmer so hook up our programmer to the microcontroller and power on the board okay now it's done and let's go back to the extreme burner so we came so far that we have to hit on right and click on flash so once you have done with uh, flashing your hex into the microcontroller let's come back to the breadboard and you see the brightness of an LED is changing using pulse width modulation so this LED has been programmed that the voltage has been changed, current rating has been changed and it will count from 0 to 225 and from 225 to 0. So it will ramp from the voltage 0 volt to the 5 volt and 5 volt to the 0 volts and by this way we can see this uh, pulse width modulation that has implemented to control the brightness of an LED.